Laura Hendricks is an amazing tutor. Laura sees the best in everyone. Laura walks into the room and you can just feel the joy coming in the room. She does everything with a smile on her face. She is a beautiful, beautiful soul. <laughs> She's very caring. She has a huge heart. She puts herself second place when it comes to other people. She always cares about everyone else and then herself. She is just an incredible woman. <laughs> she embodies the TCA spirit and what TCA stands for. Titan of the Year is a, a great honor because the Titan of the Year just exemplifies who TCA is. TCA does what it says in that we appreciate everybody from the top to the bottom and everywhere in between. Having a tutor for Titan of the Year is something that's never happened before. I wrote a nomination to um, submit Miss Hendricks for Titan of the Year because I feel like she provided a safe place for my child. And my daughter today will say, Mom, I'm whole. I'm not broken anymore. I found the missing piece. And I feel like Miss Hendricks just played an integral part in her development that year and helped get her on track. Laura loves to help children. The reason she can be so effective is that she knows the children. She has built a relationship with those children. There was a little guy who was really having a struggle fitting in. She every day would go out on the playground and find him and participate with him until he found the place that he could integrate the best. And we just saw a big change in him through the rest of the year. She always puts other people before her. Family comes first, household family, then extended family, then the TCA family, of course. When my husband passed in 2010, he was in the Haiti earthquake, and um, it was just an odd time because it took a while to find him, and so it was weeks that people were just there surrounding me, and she was one of those, you know, one of my rocks. Every evening she would check on me, you know, she loves on my kids, but that's who she is. She would just, I feel like, do anything for me. Shoot. Her friendship to me means so much. I have learned so much from her. I have grown so much knowing her, and she truly, I count her among my best friends. Laura is there for you when you are celebrating something in your life that's exciting. She is there for you when you are at rock bottom. She, um, she just doesn't offer her condolences. She wants to know what she can do to help. Um, there have been families in need who have just gone through a, um, just a very hard time. And she is behind the scene organizing meals for the family or gift cards, whatever it is that they need. She looks for ways to help and then she finds it and she does it. And she doesn't, she doesn't announce that she's doing it, you just happen to see her involved. She just radiates with a joy that makes you want to be better. Her joy is contagious and she's excited with them about what they are learning. She exudes a joy. She is happy all the time. She smiles all the time, even through the carpool, the carpool line with all the inclement weather of Colorado and the sunshine, the heat, the snow. She's there encouraging kids and giving them hugs and lots of love. She uh, could say, well, I, I'm just a tutor, I don't do that.
but that's not who she is. She will do anything that she's asked to do with a smile, with a gracious attitude. My relationship with Laura as my tutor was one of codependence. <laughs> she, I could not have done my job as well as I did without her. She was always there beside me. She was always encouraging me. She did things, honestly, that I didn't even know needed to be done most of the time. It just was done and I was stepping into it knowing that it was finished, it was completed, it was completed well. What makes Laura exceptional for, for me as a teacher is that she really became my helpmate. Uh, I would call my files the magic files, especially my first year. I would go looking for something and they had been magically replenished. Or I would just off the cuff say, gosh, I wish hmm, that I could find this. And I'd go in there maybe two days later and she had totally reorganized the files, put labels on them and I could find everything. Children need to know that they're believed in and need someone to encourage them and that's who Ms. Hendricks is. When they're on the playground, when they're all playing together, they know she's there and they know that they're safe at our school and that's an important feeling for a child to have. I've just never met anyone that's so like unself-absorbed. She always cares about everyone else and then herself. And it's just, it's a really good example to look up to. I, I just can't even express to you watching Carly mimic her mother the way that she has a giving heart. And so she's passed this on to her. She just has a strong faith in God and the way she I don't know, carries that faith out is, is such, like, inspiring to me. It's just this pure love for people. Uh, one, uh, one thing wherever Laura and I go or wherever, uh, whether it's the store, whether it's church, uh, uh, at a movie, wherever we see kids from TCA, they always come up and say, Mrs. Hendricks, they're so excited, and give her a big hug. I climbed my first 14er with Laura, and I also climbed my last 14er with Laura that was only one. <laughs> but she always climbs 14ers. And I don't know where her energy comes from, but she has so much of it. We've gone on hikes with a group of teachers that'll get together. And Laura often leads those and she'll say, you know, it's just a little ways up here. And about three miles later, everybody with their tongue hanging out is, is wondering where Laura came up with these ideas. But it really does build unity with our staff. Laura is a bit of a prankster, yes. A bit, I think, is underdoing it. Laura is a prankster. April Fool's one year, we were driving to school and she pretended that we got a flat tire. <laughs> she just, she was driving down and she just all of a sudden was like, oh guys, it's not going well. And she started slowing down, you know, and kind of swerving a bit. And I mean, she played it off great. One year she wrapped these, um, these berries that came all the way, um, I think, from Europe. And she had them individually wrapped, and she just loved the sweetness of these berries and wanted to share them with all of the students. So she just kept talking about how sweet they were, and she passed them out, and then they all ate them together. And they were black jelly beans, and they weren't so sweet. But <laughs> um, some of the kids really enjoy black jelly beans, so that was fun for them, but she got a good laugh out of that. Laura, I'm so proud of you. You are such a tremendous asset to our school. And you make the days lively and joyful. There's much laughter. And you truly deserve the honor of Titan of the Year.